this is Jeffrey with the Desert Inkwell. Today I'm bringing you a video discussing the topic of cheap versus steep. So I had to do some research before presenting this video because the inexpensive pen in this instance is a really, really close dupe, we'll say, of an existing pen. In my research, I found that the patent on the original pen had expired, which is what is allowing this new company to make this less expensive version. So just know that I do believe in brand loyalty. I believe in the holders of intellectual property making money off of what they've designed. But the patents are in a place for a reason, and it's so that the economy and creativity and invention can grow across the board and not just in silos. That being said, we're going to be looking today at the Mahjong A2 Press and the pricier Pilot Decimo. Both of these are delightfully clicky, retractable fountain pens. And seeing if we can spot the differences, is there a difference big enough to warrant spending up on the Pilot Decimo or on its bigger sister or bigger brother, the Pilot Vanishing Point, or if your money is better spent on this instance on the less expensive A2 Press, and then using your money maybe towards a different pen or some ink, better paper, or just keeping it for a rainy day. All right, let's take a look comparing these with some writing samples, the inner mechanisms, we'll get into it. So we're gonna switch to some top-down video, take a look. This is the Mahjong A2 Press, a retractable fountain pen. We have some metal trim and a plastic body. And the nib, instead of capping or uncapping the pen, you press the button and the nib comes out. If we open this pen, you'll see we have an interior housing that is one long piece that's connecting the nib. And if we remove this, I have this pen inked with a refillable cartridge that came with the pen. And on this style pen, I just find this easy. It's easy to do. The pen came with an extra empty cartridge. It can look intimidating, but you'll see there's a little notch cut out here and a little bump on the, I don't know, pen internals. And you line those up. Go ahead. Screw that back together. You're good to go. This pen is already inked up, so we'll unbox the steep pen, get this one inked up, do some writing comparisons, and I'll let you know if uh, my thoughts on the cheap versus the steep. So this is a Pilot Decimo. I was able to get this on Amazon through a Japanese importer, so the packaging may not look like the packaging if you order this from a US-based pen store. So in the pen we have a looks like a pre-filled cartridge. We have the pen in a fine nib. So this pen uh, disassembles in a shockingly similar manner. We're going to be careful here. I don't actually want to get them confused. But if we compare those, that's oddly similar, right? So within the fountain pen community, there is a lo lot of talk about brand loyalty. So being loyal to the originator of a pen design. And so in this instance, the originator is Pilot. I did want to test. I've been using the Mahjong A2 Press for a couple weeks now wanted to test the Pilot Decimo with you today. Just real quick, if you're squeamish around needles, I am gonna be using a blunt syringe to fill this pen. So if you're squeamish around needles, close your eyes and then I'll say you're good to go when we're done doing that. Uh, today's ink that we're gonna be using is Diamine Twilight. I don't feel like blue ink gets enough love on my channel. All right, so for this type of pen, we are going to insert the blunt syringe into the empty cartridge. We're gonna take the 
Oh, by the way, you're good to go. The needle is away. We're gonna put the cartridge into the body of the pen. Make sure that's seated in really well. We're gonna cover it with the metal cover. We're gonna look for that little bump there and that notch and line them up. Screw the back on. There we go, Bob's your uncle. We're gonna give that ink a couple minutes to work its way to the nib. And I'm gonna get our trusty project notebook and we'll do some sample writing and compare the two pens. So there we go. So the Mahjong A2 press and the Pilot Decima. Is there a difference? I mean, if we look at it fundamentally, of course, you have plastic versus lacquered or enamel metal. They're essentially the same size. The interior is designed so similarly that I am able to take the nib unit out of the Pilot Decimo and put it in the A2 press. Of the two pens, it could be argued to buy the Pilot Decimo as they were the creator of the design. It can also be argued that not everyone has the budget for a Pilot Decimo, therefore may start with the A2 Press. I know for me, I started with the A2 Press because I wasn't sure I wanted to spend the money on the Pilot Decimo. In a future video, we're going to look at a Mahjong A3. It's a, we'll say, a tribute pen to a Pilot Vanishing Point pound for pound dollar for dollar, I'm going to recommend the Mahjong A2 press for most people who are not serious collectors. All right, folks. So, it's like the Super Bowl of pens. <laughs> Super Bowl of retractable pens. On the left side, we have the A2 press. On the right side, the Decimo. Now, I can tell you, because I've been using the A2 press for a couple weeks now, I have in, uh, penabled <laughs> some of these sayings, I'm telling you, uh, penabled two other people to buy the A2 press. They're both loving it. And uh, I know plenty of people in the fountain pen community absolutely love the Pilot Decimo and Vanishing Point. Both of these have been inked up. You saw me ink those up what was actually yesterday. Now, we're going to do a straightaway test. All right, folks, <laughs> so you can see. They're surprisingly similar, um, even down to being able to take the inner mechanism out of the Decimo, as you saw, and putting it in the A2 press. The difference really comes down to build quality. So the materials that the pen is made out of, do you want plastic or do you want metal? Are you okay with a steel nib or do you need a gold nib? I have plenty of pens that use a steel nib and they write beautifully. I have plenty of pens with a gold nib and they write beautifully as well. The decision is yours. 
if the pilot decimo or even the pilot vanishing point are something that are within your budget and you love them by all means it's a solid pen get it but if you're just getting into fountain pens or your budget is not as big as other people's then the a2 press is a solid pen and it's a great way to experiment and see if you like a retractable fountain pen make a choice that is best for you how much you want to spend or something to consider too is how long you're going to keep the pen if you think you want to keep it long term maybe the metal body and a gold nib is something that is a better purchase long term on timu you can find the a2 press it's 15 to 20 dollars you can find these on Amazon uh, for about $30 shipped. The Pilot Decimo, I found on Amazon from a Japanese importer for a hundred bucks. Metal body, gold nib, hundred bucks. It's not a bad purchase. I'll have that pen for a long time. What's important is that you pick up a pen, you write. You're doing journaling, planning, writing letters. Uh, the written word is so important. <laughs> And that's why I do this, to help you feel comfortable enough to get into the hobby. Have a great Sunday. I hope whichever team you're rooting for in the Super Bowl wins. <laughs> Something. Have a great week. Happy writing, and I'll see you next week.